Hey guys, this is Shiny Zekrom, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we went through the SS. My sorry about that. We went through the SSN as well as we um, beat our rival again and had one of our teammates evolve as well as getting HM cut. So our Diglett evolved into Doug Trio, as well as the whole team is now level 26. And this Paris, we also got, at the before this part started and in between the last part and this part, we caught Paris as well as getting HM Flash. But anyways, now that we have Cut, we have a Cut Slave, instead of having to have Cut on one of our main Pokemon, we're going to head right into Vermilion Gym and get this started. So I'm just going to face the trainers right away, and... Then we can search the gym for its puzzle. There's no place for ki this is no place for kids, not even if you're good. And we get to face a Pikachu. I think this is our first fight with Doug Trio. Cause I don't think we battled with it last part. Maybe one Pokemon, but that was it, I think. Anyways, Dogtrio is obviously going to be the main Pokemon for this gym, so I have no worries whatsoever. Magnitude 9. Oops. Oops. And if I run into a pickle with Terra, I do have Gloom who should be able to do the job as well. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Cool. We're gonna beat you. And Terra just outspeeds everything, and I love it. Goodbye, Voltorb. Magnemite. Magnitude again, Magnitude 6. That should knock it right out. Because four times weak to it. And that's the end of this battle. Even if Doug Trio goes, which it will happen, even if Doug Trio goes to level 27 before I face uh, the gym leader, I'm not going to worry about it. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict co. He was a hard taskmaster. And just one Pikachu to face. The magnitude 6. This should be enough to knock Pikachu right out. A critical hit too. Yeah, I think that's overkill at that point. Alright, and that is going to be Doug Trio level 27. Stop, you're very good. Alright, now let's get this gym puzzle. Damn. Ah. Uh, I thought we had that so quickly. Oh, nice, and we know which one it is. Boom! Alright. Now, for Lieutenant Surge, the gym leader. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you! Alright, time for our third gym battle versus Lieutenant Surge. He's going to send out Voltorb right off the bat. Which we faced our level 21 Voltorbs now. Speed it, magnitude 8, that's going to knock Voltorb right out. Alright, next up, Pikachu. Level 18 only, which... That always surprised me why it was this low of level. I mean, both of Misty's Pokemon were 
the same, if not higher than this thing. Alright, we're gonna knock the Pikachu right out. And now for the big one, Raichu. And to 8, ooh, good magnitude to get. I don't know if this will, it should, I think, knock it out, actually. Yep, and there we go, Doug Trio sweeps the gym in under a minute. Or I should say the gym leader in under a minute. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then. Take the Thunder Badge. You get some good money for it. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. Also let your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. We get TM34. We get Shockwave. Alright. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to quick heal up, and then we are going to do one other thing in this part. Well, actually not a small thing, but it's going to be a big thing. We're going to go through another route. So, I'm going to meet you guys back in a specific location. It's going to be in Cerulean City on the right-hand side where you would normally get, like, fight the dig train. So, I'll meet you guys there. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. Let us go over this way, over to Route 9. And get started with the route. You have Pokemon with you, you're mine. And I forgot to switch my Duck Tree out. Crud. Oop. I'm sorry about that. Oddish. Let's magnitude. Magnitude 8, that'll be enough to knock it out. And we'll switch Doug Trio right out. Bell Sprout. We'll send our Pidgeotto out. Gust the Bell Sprout right out. Oddish. We'll gust again. Level 27 for Pidgeotto. And trying to learn Wing Attack. Yes. Alright. We are going to get rid of Sand Attack. I don't need it anymore. I don't like having Gust in case I don't want to use like Wing Attack or something. Like I want to use a weak move. You deceived me. Ugh, excuse me. Anyways, we'll switch Doug Trio out for War Turtle. Now, down this way, right here, I believe it is, Team 40 Aerial Ace. There is a Pokemon I want to teach that to right away, actually. We're going to teach it to Doug Trio. The reason I'm going to teach a Pidgeotto is it's going to get an HM later on that's going to be, I think, much better. But this will give us an opportunity to have a better move on our Doug Trio. Alright, and there we go. The Doug Trio now has Aerial Ace to help out with them flying or the grass types a bit more. Alright. Anyway, since we're kind of not going to have a choice, let's fight this hiker. Bah ha ha, great, I was bored, eh? What are you, Canadian? And a match up. Let's send a water gun with the match up. Karate chop. A water gun again, and down goes the match up. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, it lived. Come on. We'll tackle it on out.
Ah, thanks. Water gun, and I'll definitely take it out. Keep it coming, eh? Oh, wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Yeah. I do believe at the end of this is something. I thought so. Baha! Bring it on. Oh, I will. I will bring it on. Geo, dude. Water gun it, knock it right out. And Onyx. We'll water gun it again. And down it goes. Or again. We'll water gun another one. And that'll be level 27 for War Turtle. Ha 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 ha. You beat me fair. Let me get a burn heal. All that way for a burn heal. I feel burned. And we got bug catcher here, or if we go up this way, I think there's... Yeah, camper. Who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? Oh, right, I actually think I remember this guy. <sighs> No, I don't. I'm sorry about the yawning. Oh, I don't know where it came from. Got an acid growl with. Oh, wow. And we just get odor sleuth. We'll absorb to knock out the growl with. Charmander, we won't switch out. Why isn't it Charmeleon, though? That's what I don't get. Why isn't it Charmeleon? It's perfectly fine to be one. Ember. Ooh. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, I forget it is in Blaze Range. But it's gone now. Out like a light. Now I definitely remember this guy. And I get Tornado's level 27, but I know this trainer well. I got up every day, I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. And it's because of a specific Pokemon this bug trainer happens to use. Yeah, Beedrill. That's why I didn't want to send Gloom out, because Gloom would not be able to do, like, anything. And I should have used Wing Attack. Yeah, it still killed Beedrill in one hit. But not only one, but two Beedrills. And down goes the other Beedrill. And down goes Brent. What? What a total waste of time. Now, I don't think there was a name on that rock or anything over here. But, actually there was an ether. Cool. And no wild encounters, I don't care. We are now going to head over this way. Another bug trainer. I feel bad for not using Flowey, but Flowey's going to see some use upcoming. Oh, that tramp there. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Hatterpie. Had I remembered it was Caterpie, I would have just kept it out to acid. 
Oh well. Weedle, I am not switching out at this point. I'll knock out this Weedle. Last but not least, a Venonat! This, uh, Gloom wouldn't have been able to do anything against. Down goes the Venonat, and that's gonna be level 28 for Tornado. My bugs! Yeah, your bugs, they're gone. And now Pidgeotto is definitely going to stay down there for a little while. And since that's a camper, let's get our Gloom to get a level first. Ha ha ha, aren't you a little toughy? Alright, Chio dude. And since we lost a lot of HP from that Charmander, absorbing this Chio dude should get it right back to us, or most of it. All but one. Chio do it again. Knock this one out. Now a matcha. Let's see how much an acid does to my chop instead. Oh, much more. Oh, seismic toss. So he raises his critical hit ratio just to hit me with a move. That does fix damage. Interesting. That is going to be level 27 for our gloom as well. What's that? Switch them, and head off and face this trainer here. I'm taking the rock tunnel to go to Lavender. Alright, so first off we get the face of a Tata. Magnitude 4. That's not gonna kill. That did nothing. Come on, Doug Trio. Look at that, ooh. And to that, there we go. That's more like it. Sand Shrew. We won't switch though. Man, two nine again, nice. Goodbye, Sand Shrew. Excuse me. Whew. That's level 28 for a Doug Trio. Sand Trio again. We'll go into Flowey. We'll absorb the Sand Trio. Yeah, when it goes. And now Ekans. We will go to our War Turtle for that. Had a feeling it was going to be Intimidate. We'll go for some Water Guns. Oh wow, critical hit. Nice. Alright, and that's the end of Camper Drew. Can't measure up. And there's no items up here, so we'll continue on this way. Actually, almost just missed that. But right there, there's a berry spot. A Chesto berry. Well, 
will face you. Don't you dare patronize me. Okay, then. Meow. That's right. Sorry, I was taking a drink. Can we flinch from a bite after trying to water gun? Alright, we water gun off this time. He else growls us. We'll just keep water gunning. And it kills it this time. Wow, min max damage, I guess. Be Caitlyn. No, you're too much. Going this way now. Can't do anything because we don't have a certain HM to go across this water. Don't have anything for that. So we just got this one last trainer and then we'll call it a part. I've been out at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. Then how the heck are you out here? Heidi sends out a Pikachu. This may be interesting. Ooh, Slam. Ooh, Thunder Wave. Just don't be paralyzed, Blast, and you kill it. Yay, good job. Clefairy, ooh. Sure, Encore me into Water Gun, I don't mind. Follow me, which... I have to, Clefairy. I don't have anything else that's gonna, you know, take the water gun. Double slap. Ooh. And we're paralyzed, so we can't use water gun. I will never understand how double slap can hit more than twice. Alright, we get paralyzed again. Oh no, critical hit. Oh no. I was about to say, Blast, you're in torrent range, you can kill. Yeah, there we go. Oh, after all my training. Alright guys, and that's pretty much going to do it for this part. We got our third gym badge, completed that challenge, and we made it through the entirety of Route 9, over into Route 10. We made it to the Pokemon Center right before what is... Rocky Tunnel. So, in the next part, we are going to head through Rocky Tunnel. See you guys then.